Okay, regarding the vision of this tree, I made a couple of videos about it already. The tree represents God. The branches represents various churches. The fruit represents people. Okay. And the last, the last word I got is the father said to Jesus, stop messing with that tree. So at this church, the manifestation of Jesus is not going to be seen. But the father did say, don't touch the oil and the wine. So they're still going to have the oil and the wine. They're going to have the oil and the wine, but the visions of Jesus being in the room are going to cease except for certain very important people that are seeking God. But here's the thing. The day is coming when the Lord's going to touch the oil and the wine. Okay? And, and I asked God, when do I leave? He said, when I give you a vision of this tree, and this right here is broken, and it's on the ground right here. In other words, that branch, see how there's branches that were cut off here and here? And here's one that withered. When this branch right here is no longer here, but this part, this branch right here is laying on the ground. Right here. Right here. Okay, so when I get a vision of that branch being completely cut off, then I can leave. Okay? Until then... Y'all should be praying and asking God to raise the dead and asking God for miracles and signs and wonders. Ask and keep asking. Keep asking for the anointing for resurrections of the dead. God said, do not touch the oil and the wine. So the oil and the wine, I believe that means it's going to still flow. But there's going to be a, redu a reduction in, in that higher manifestation. But if they don't, if you don't repent and if you continue to only teach the encouragement and not willing to exhort and rebuke, I mean, rebuke and correct, correct rebuke, okay, and if all you do is exhortation, if you're not willing to do the full counsel of God, this will be cut off. And the word that I spoke the other day is many will fall away from the faith. And deny Jesus. And he who stands firm till the end will be saved. And so you need to know most assuredly. That the rapture will not happen. Until first. The number is complete of those who are to be put to death for their faith. Revelation chapter 6. The fifth seal. And. The foolish virgins. The last of the foolish virgins falls away and misses the bridegroom. When those two events happen. Then the rapture will happen. Okay, and the Lord told me that at this church, right here, many will certainly fall away from the faith, even if you're serving God 99.9%, .9%, it's that one-tenth of one percent that you're withholding from God, and that's the one percent that God says, that's your little idol, whatever it may be, and we all are in the process of fighting these this battle, okay, we are all in the process of being saved. Okay, and just so you know, out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. Most of the time when you're speaking in tongues, it's just an overflow of your heart. It's not a prophetic word. Okay, so for example, this guy named Tom was praying in tongues and I heard him. It was one of the first times I interpreted tongues. And he was saying, oh man, I wish my life wasn't so hard right now. That's what he was saying in tongues. And I asked him, I said, hey, have you been, been going through a hard time? You feeling like you're going through a hard, hard life right now? And he says, yeah, I've been thinking that. And then that's when it was confirmed that I was interpreting his tongues. This one time I asked the lady to pray in tongues. I want to listen to her. And she was looking out the window and she was saying, oh, what? the interpretation was, I wonder why he wants me to pray in tongues. And oh, look what a nice day it is. That was the interpretation of her tongues. The tongues is the overflow of the heart. But I asked her, I said, were you just looking out the window and thinking what a nice day it is? And she's like, well, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm just saying, I, the gift of interpretation, it's the, the, the tongues is an overflow of the heart. And if you stir yourself up to praise God, those tongues, the interpretation will be praising God. If you're interceding for something specific, 
the interpretation of that tongue will be the intercession of what it is specific that you're that's on your heart and on your mind. This one time many years ago, I was praying about this particular person and I was praying in tongues, and the angel is standing there watching and listening. I was praying about that person. I was speaking prophetically or praying in tongues about that person. Okay? It's not a prophetic way. And then sometimes the Holy Spirit will come upon you and cause that tongue to be a prophecy. Okay? So, <clears throat> this is the type of revelation when you actually receive the gifting and you start to use that gifting and the Lord reveals it. I'm just saying. 